way to Rome. It's been kind of a interesting uh, Rome experience so far, but here we are at the gate of St. Peter, about to walk into St. Peter's Square to start our Rome experience. Get a better view later, but uh, this is St. Peter's Square. That right there is St. Peter's Basilica, and that is Juan. Oh, hi. We're trying to figure out our hostel that we made reservations like 25 minutes out of the city, and it's not covered by our pass. So we're gonna try and find a closer hostel that's open for like three nights. Yeah. So hopefully we can do that. If not. I guess we'll have to make do, but... And down the uh, Roman street with our very noisy luggage. Rome is beautiful, best of luck. Glad we're here for three days. Alright, uh, so one thing that's funny is all around Rome, you'll see these McDonald's signs. They just point you to the closest McDonald's. And you just really want to have McDonald's. And it's like, where's the McDonald's? Oh, there's a the McDonald's sign. Let's head that way. One more minute. Gotta love Rome. Hashtag win in Rome. <laughs> hey, hi. Here we are in our elevator. <laughs> it's extremely cramped. I don't know if you can see in the mirror there. Anyways, here we are in our hotel finally. We walked like four miles. Okay. Here's our room. Door, bathroom, fan, big bed, little bed, window. Right, we found this uh, place here by that building and by Juan and this obelisk here. I'm not sure where we are, but we're just kind of walking around Rome uh, on our way to the Colosseum and uh, found this cool building. It's pretty cool, huh? Hey guys, here it is, the Colosseum and all of its Roman glory. What do you think about it, Juan? It's pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, you could say that again. He didn't say it again. All right, guys, we're heading in to the Colosseum. And here we are, inside of the Colosseum. Wow. All right. All right, we have to go through metal detectors, so we'll pick up the vlog after the metal detector. But we've skipped like five lines by this Roma Pass, because it'll get you past like all of the lines. I endorse this. Give to you the Roman Empire stuff. Sometimes things don't seem the way they like. Like you need to be there in person. Like for example, the Roman Colosseum. This is amazing in person. You know, it's just something you have to experience for yourself. You can't just watch it in a vlog or a video or like a movie. Now you should really come here. It's. Uh, Kind of cool. You're like I'm like walking in history right now. Say hi, Juan. Huh? Say hi. Oh, hey. I'm at the Colosseum. Say against you. I'm in Italy, Rome. We're in history right now. History, and my hair is going all over the place. So, when I was younger, <laughs> I did martial arts, and we used to train like down there. But they throw us like tigers and bears. It was crazy. <laughs> That's how I got this scar right here. Can you see it? Right there? That was a bear claw right there. Yeah. For Sparta. Different country. Yeah. Slash history. Yeah, like not even the same as it's Rome. Alright guys, here we are on the ground level of the Colosseum. This is where all the fighting would happen. It's a cage. <laughs> So they would keep people and um, those are tourists. I would say the Coliseum lived up to its expectations. Super awesome. Did not disappoint. Yep. That was amazing. We're gonna head up. The Roman Forum. All that coolness. I believe it's the Arch of Constantine if I'm not mistaken. We're walking on these big stones right now. Pretty cool. Not as cool as that arch, though. Well, saying goodbye to the Coliseum back there. 
and saying hello to the Roman Forum up here. This is the Arch of Titus. Titus was a... One sec. Uh, this is the Arch by the Senate and people of Rome. Titus was some dude who did stuff and victory. So they built an arch to commemorate him. Alright guys, this is the Roman Forum. Just a bunch of ancient Roman ruins, basically. It's really cool, though. That is very impressive. So we, we're just here to tell you that, okay, everyone's like, okay, go to the Colosseum first thing in the morning. Uh, skip all the lines. And we went, what, three in the afternoon? Yeah, we were like, oh, let's go to the Colosseum. Yeah, let's go uh, explore. Sure. Let's go walk over. Oh, it's just a mile away. Okay, let's walk over and just walk over and show our card and walk yeah. in. Use the Roma Pass. Not what, a problem. No line, just kind of skipped everything and just got down with the Roman Forum. Now we're leaving it and uh, that's our view as we leave. It's amazing. Cannot get enough of it. It's so surreal to just be here in real life, you know? Let's make it a point to come here. Definitely. We are riding the bus. Headed to Trevi Fountain. I keep saying that. Trevi Fountain. I was say right now. Just walking down some left kind of random creepy streets. Making our way down to Trevi. I think we're really close to... It's around here somewhere. We're just kind of finding it. Oh, there it is! Wow! The most famous fountain of all of Rome. Wow, that's cool looking. I thought it was going to be smaller. Yeah, it's actually a lot bigger than I thought. And all these people though. It's like an insane amount. But, really pretty. We're about to do the twin cars. Coin toss into the Clevy Fountain. Trevi Fountain. Trevi Fountain. I don't know why Jacob keeps saying in French. Yeah. I already threw mine. Oh, you were supposed to wait. I didn't know. Okay, I did it. <laughs> Alright, ending up the day, our first day in Rome, with some food. Some authentic Italian pizza stuff. Ooh, que delicioso. Rico, um, Provecho.